Hi everybody, thanks for pressing play on the video. It's Caroline here from craftycarolinecreates.blogspot.co.uk. Today's project combines what are probably my two big passions in life, crafting and cooking. This is a very sweet box that I made to allow me to give away some gifts of my homemade black currant jam or jelly if you're in North America. I made a stack of this recently because I was in Tesco's um, at closing time and they had piles of black currants that they were selling off very cheaply. So I um, stocked up on quite a lot of them and when I got home over the weekend I made, turned them into some beautiful jars of jam. And this is what the jam jar looks like um, ordinarily. Still quite a nice present but I think decorating it like this and popping it in a handmade box just makes it that extra bit special. So we are decorating it today using um, the brand new Homemade For You stamp set by Stamping Up which um, was very quickly on my shopping list when I saw it because as I said I do do a lot of home cooking, home baking and homemade gifts. So this is going to come into its own at Christmas but I thought this was um, something to do pretty quickly for now to give away this jam because I did make quite a lot of it. Um, so my family will be eating it forever unless I give it away as presents. So, how did we make the box? Let's do the box first. So, blackcurrant jam had to be blackberry bliss cardstock. And we are going to bring in the scoring tool and we are going to score this along the long side at two and a half inches, at five and a quarter inches, oh, went off a little bit there, sorry about that, seven and three quarters of an inch, and at ten and a half inches okay we are then going to rotate that to the short side and we are going to um, score it at one and a half inches at five and a quarter inches and at seven and three quarters of an inch just like that there okay take off take that off now and we are going to score and burnish all of those fold lines now if you used to watch a lot of my videos you know I always used to use the scoring tool from the envelope punch board for my folding and burnishing but I have now invested in a proper bone folder and I am very impressed actually I always thought you know, the, the score tool did the job just fine, but actually, no, it didn't. This is this is much better. It just seems to give a much crisper line. Um, it seems to have a bit more weight to it and um, a bit more of a sharper edge. So I definitely recommend one. Glad I brought it. Okay, now, to make up our box, we're going to start at the bottom, what is going to be the bottom of a box, which is where we have um, just that one score line. We are going to cut off the very end little rectangle that we have made okay and then we are just going to cut up these edges here cut up each of these lines like that okay then for our lid we are going to make this this flap here is going to become our lid okay so we are going to look at how that folds up just for a second so I make sure we cut off the right pieces this is going to fold up like this. This bit is going to be our lid. These two are going to be our flaps. So what we need to do is cut off this whole section here. So I'm just going to cut um, along there like that. Okay. And then I'm just going to cut up past the first and the second score line um, on either side of what is going to be our flap. Okay. And then I'm just going to cut off this top rectangle on the two edge bits. Okay. Just like that. Okay. Move those scraps out of the way but not too far because we will use those in a little while. Then I'm going to bring in my corner rounder and we are going to round off these corners here on our flap. One and two. So that's going to be our little bit that tucks in. And then also on these two sides here, we're just going to 
round those up as well. Okay. We'll put all of this to one side, okay? And it's easier to fold, to decorate it, I think, now before you fold it up. So, what I have are some pieces of um, Whisper Wipe cardstock. And, sorry, this is very Nanilla cardstock. And what I've done is I've already gone ahead and stamped um, three of those using this large um, polka dot stamp from the... Um, from the stamp set. So we'll just do this last one now. Okay. So we've got some matching black Bliss ink and a piece of scrap to stamp on top of. So I'm just going to give that a good inking up. Okay. Oh, sorry. And what I want to do is keep those polka dots to the bottom side of my um, cardstock. As always, all of the dimensions and measurements will be over on my blog, including the dimensions of all these um, small pieces. Okay, so I'm just going to use a little bit of Tombow on the back of each of these. Oh, my Tombow's getting old. There we go. So I'll just do them all. So the two larger, you, when you when you see on my blog, I haven't written these measurements down actually, but I will put them on my blog. See, there's two that are slightly larger, and they're going to go on the two larger two larger panels on your box there and there. Try and line those up as square as you can. Okay, and then the smaller pieces are obviously going to go on the two smaller panels, which is where your two flaps are. It's an easy way to remember that. And put your finger in the tombow, it's a bit silly, Caroline. Okay, we just put those on there and line those up as best you can. Okay, now we're ready to fold up our box. Um, so we're going to use some fuse along this flap here. Oh, still never got fuse down. Um, just fold that over because it is a symmetrical box so it will fold up like that. Now if you were making quite a lot of these for Christmas etc you could go this far and then you could leave the boxes like that and they will then nicely store flat for you um, to keep them somewhere until you want to make them up. Fold in the base. Now the base is going to um, support the weight of the jam so you want to make sure that this is quite um, it's quite strong. So I'm going to put fuse on three of the flaps. So I'm just going to fold in like that on that one and then fuse on this one as well. Sorry, two of the flaps. I think I said three, didn't I? On the two flaps like that. Make sure you get quite a lot on there to make sure that this does stay nicely closed. Okay. I'm going to use the one inch um, circle punch to just punch out a little notch here just by eye like that just give you a little finger hole like we have here for getting your box open so if you fold it up now you can see how that nicely comes together and closes perfectly she says like that okay a little bit more decoration I'm gonna tie this beautiful um, ribbon around our box so this is the, um, what's it called, striped cotton ribbon, new again from Stamping Up, in the matching black Bris. This is a really lovely ribbon actually. It looks very, it's very rustic and, and natural looking. Okay, so that is going to go around um, the top of the box, like this. And I'm not a great fan of, well, I'm not very good at tying balls, so I'm just going to tie this like I have on the example in a little... Um, in a little top knot, in a little flat knot. Like that. Oh, I've twisted that. Let's do it again. Oh, sorry about that. Don't turn off, keep watching, I will get it right. Um, so we're just gonna wrap that round there. 
and tie this off in a little knot. There we go, that's better. Just trim those edges. Okay. There we go. Push that up and into the center. Okay. And just a little bit um, around our jam jar. So I'm just going to use um, a glue dot here on the edge there. Put that in the middle. Take my ribbon round. Okay. Snip that up. join up we are going to if you remember on the example we are going to stamp this lovely for you with love so it says homemade homemade for you with love um, on it so again that comes from the same stamp set so I just have a piece of whisper, of whisper white I keep saying whisper white but it's very vanilla cardstock I'm going to bring in my um, black blueprint ink again I'm just going to stamp that just like that okay and I'm also, as you can see, we need two homemade, so I'm going to stamp that first one time. There we go. And then just make sure I've got enough room to punch it out. I'll just turn it around a little bit, and there we go. Okay. So, For You With Love is going to punch out using my one inch circle punch. See how that fits pretty perfectly. There we go. And, um,. My other ones are going to punch out using my three and a quarter inch circle punch. Just checking I was getting the right one there. Okay, it's so just going to line that up in the centre on both types and punch that out. Okay, there we go. So the first one of these is just going to stick onto the top of my box directly with a couple of dimensionals to hold that up. Just give it a little bit more. Um, profile okay just by eye in the middle there like that then inside my box I'm gonna punch out a um, two inch circle punch two inch circle just using the scrap that I cut off the box there we go that is going to layer up onto my top of my jam jar with some dimensionals. Take those backing off. Oh, I still find these everywhere in my house. However much I try to pick them up after me, they always end up blocking my hoover. Okay, so there we go. Sorry, I'm not sure if you saw that. It might have been off camera. Sorry about that. Um, so there's the homemade there. And I'm just going to line that up because if you make a lot of jam, you know, you don't want to take the lid off until you're ready to use it. So I'm just going to line that up with the join. I'm just going to use Tombow on the back there and stick that up. So it, as I said, aligns with the join, which is where we are going to stick our other little, here it is, our little For You With Love motif. Oops, sorry. So I've already punched it out, not sure why I'm picking the punch up. Okay, and then we can pick that up and pop that on there like that. Okay, tidy some of this out of the way. Open up my box, and there we go. We are ready to pop in a homemade jam in there like that. Fasten it up. And now I have two lovely little summer gifts to give somebody um, very soon. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, do get in touch. Um, if you are a jam maker, let me know how you get on um, decorating them up. I will post the dimensions of the box on my blog um, in case you want to have a go of making it to have something else. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.